Welcome to Maths with Bob. Uh, today we're looking at the uh, addition theorems in trigonometry. These are the sine a plus b or alpha plus beta results uh, and the cos uh, similarly and tan alpha plus beta. These lead to the two theta results or the double angle results and also the half angle results and eventually to the t results which we use a lot for calculus and integration. And, uh, so this is a bit of a whirlwind tour so let's just get on with it. Uh, first up, um, let's have a look. We normally are drawing right angle triangles, uh, try and get the coordinates of A and B in terms of their angles, which is just basically right angle triangle. Uh, you can see these would be the Y, the Y's would be, if you look at that Y opposite on hypotenuse, so the Y's would be the sines, and the X's will be down here. These would be the adjacent on the hypotenuse, which would be the causes. So you can see here the causes are the X's and the sines are the Y's in terms of the angles. Okay, so once you have those two points, and uh, now I've got them in the first quadrant, actually you can put them into other quadrants if you want to. But let's actually move along. Okay, so the first thing you do is you create, uh, you've got to look at the distance AB and you need to do that a couple of ways. One of them is the distance formula. You can see here we've just got the distance formula down here. This is eventually what we end up with, this bit down here. This is the d squared expression. You can see here uh, equals what, 2 minus 2 lots of cos alpha cos beta plus sine alpha sine beta. Now, we then try and get the distance using the cosine rule. Okay, uh, that's uh, the cosine rule. Okay. Uh, okay, from the cosine rule, you know, uh, uh, you know, a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a, and the a is the actual angle alpha minus beta. Okay. So you end up getting another result. Uh, you can see here, uh, this is the one we're after here. Okay. That's the result for d squared as well. And uh, we're now going to equate those two d squareds from the cosine rule and the distance formula. Okay, let's have a quick look. Here we go. We equate the results from the distance and the cosine rule. And you have a quick look. We end up getting this seedling result, I call it. It's cos alpha minus beta equals cos alpha cos beta plus sine alpha sine beta. And from our little result here, we're going to grow a uh, garden of trigonometric plants or vegetables if you think of it like that. Okay, so our results are going to all sprout from this one. Okay, so okay, here's our seedling uh, and we just start off by um, letting beta equal minus beta and as you know cos of, uh, now if you look down here, uh, I've actually got it down here, that if I go uh, cos of minus beta, okay, is okay, it's actually cos beta. So uh, we can replace uh, cos uh, minus beta with a cos beta, and uh, the, however the sine of minus beta is minus sine beta. This allows us to get what's called the uh, result here, which is the cos alpha plus beta result. Okay, so from the seedling, uh, we've uh, now you can see here we have this result. Okay, which is this one. Okay, this we put in the minus beta for beta, and it basic, basically then ends up getting this this result here. Okay. And um, well, from there, what we do is we let alpha equal beta uh, equal theta to generate what's called the cos 2 theta results. And that basically is cos squared theta minus sine squared theta is cos 2 theta. Then we halve 2 theta, if you like. It gives us the half angle results. Cos theta is equal to cos squared theta on 2 minus sine squared theta on 2. This is this result here. This is the half angle result here. Okay half angle result. Okay, so we then uh, basically do a few more manipulations here. You'll see here I've actually done some more manipulations and uh, uh, these are for the, um, if you like, um, the substitutions in integration because from our cos 2 theta result we rewrite it as uh, 1 minus sine squared minus sine squared and end up rearranging that to get, you can see here, this result here, that sine squared is equal to a half of 1 minus cos 2 theta. That allows us to integrate sine squared. And just while we're on that, if uh, this was, say, 2 theta, this would be 4 theta here. So uh, you can see here, we get multiple results just from this by doubling the theta value. We can also double the 2 theta value. Anyway, so you can see here we can get lots of results there. If you have a quick look, uh, you rearrange it again, uh, and you end up getting that uh, cos squared is equal to this result here. Okay. This is the cos squared theta result. 
and whenever we want to integrate cos squared theta d theta, we just have to do that substitution. Okay. All right. So now we are trying to work out what is sine. Okay. So, so the first thing is, or the next thing is, uh, okay, we look at our complementary angle relationship, and then we just do a little bit of manipulation to try and get this sine alpha minus beta result. I've sort of eventually, uh, if you come down here, sine alpha minus beta, you can see it's cos 90 minus alpha minus beta, which is really the cos of 90 minus alpha plus beta. Okay, um, and then you just do a substitution uh, for uh, alpha as 90 minus alpha. So it turns into sine alpha. So you can see here, okay, you've got a sine alpha here. Okay, um, that's all right. And if you look over here, my, sine of minus beta is actually uh, basically, okay, sine of minus beta is minus sine beta. So that gives us this sine here, which is the, obviously the negative here. So, uh, okay, so then we end up getting, okay, this result, which is the big result. Uh, I'll just have a look at this one, okay. Okay, that is the sine, uh, you can see alpha minus beta is sine alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sine beta. Okay, then we try and, okay, um, let's have a quick look. Okay, we're then going to try and uh, get the sine alpha plus beta, and all you do, you can see there, I just substituted uh, minus beta for beta, and that obviously changes the sine over here to a plus, okay because we know sine of minus beta is minus sine beta, and the two minus make a plus. And then we uh, look at the, um, you can see here, to get the two theta results, we just let alpha equal beta equal theta, and we get this called, this called a two theta result, or double angle result, some people call it a double angle result. Uh, and the one underneath is the half angle result, we get this one here. That's called the half angle result, sine theta is equal to two sine theta on two cos theta on two. Okay. Now, what do we do? Well, we try and find out the tan. Okay, okay. what are we going to do? Well, let's have a look. This is tan alpha plus beta. How are we going to work out what tan alpha plus beta is? Well, as you can see, it's sine alpha plus beta on cos alpha plus beta. And, you, okay, you rewrite the expressions for the expansions, if you like, for sine alpha plus beta and cos alpha plus beta. As you can see here, I've written these here. Okay, these are just written here. Okay. And what we do now is we have to divide the top and bottom by uh, an expression. You can see here, this is what I've divided it by here, cos, you have a quick look, I've divided the top and bottom, each of those terms by cos alpha, cos beta, and simplified it to the tan result over here. Okay. And that is what tan alpha plus beta is, tan alpha plus tan beta on 1 minus tan alpha tan beta. Okay. Now... All right, so what about the tan alpha minus beta okay, result? Wow. Uh, okay, so we again let beta equal minus beta. So if you like replacing beta with minus beta. Now, what is tan of minus beta? Well, it's going to the cos quadrant, so it's actually minus tan beta. And you can see it affects the signs here uh, and also here. Uh, and I've also put a little light bulb over there. You might remember this is the angle between two lines formula. Okay. Okay. Obviously, the tan of an angle is in fact equal to the gradient. So you can see the angle between two lines is in fact m1 minus m2 on 1 plus m1 m2. And we normally take the absolute value of that if you want to find the uh, acute angle. Okay. All right. So what's the summary so far? Okay. Let's have a look. Well, uh, we'll look at the summary in a minute, but uh, I just thought we might, uh, might do the T results as well while we're here. So let's actually have a quick look at the T results. Now, obviously, um, first up we get the, okay, these ones here. We have a quick look. This is a double angle result for uh, tan. If alpha equals beta equals theta, we end up getting tan 2 theta is 2 tan theta on 1 minus tan squared theta. Halving that, you end up getting the half angle result. This one here. Okay. Or tan theta is equal to 2 uh, tan theta on 2, 1 minus tan squared theta on 2. Now, what we do is, uh, you can see here, just a nice uh, little, if I just grab this, uh, and try and move it. Here we go. Uh, oops, can I move it? Ah, there it is. Okay, so we just let t equal tan theta on 2. Now, once we do that, uh, okay, we let uh, t equal tan theta on 2. Um, okay, we do have a few problems with uh, 
uh, well, tan 90 not uh, being defined and things. So T can't equal plus or minus 1, uh, obviously. Uh, but so we end up getting, okay, this result, if I do the straight substitution into this one. So if I do the straight substitution, you can see here, uh, straight substitution into this result here, that uh, T is equal to tan theta on 2. You just get, get uh, 2T on 1 minus T squared, which is, okay, this result here. Okay, and we use these integration type problems like this. Okay, so uh, how do we get the other results for, you know, the t other t results? I've just done it uh, an easy way, which just says, okay, just create the triangle where the tan of the angle is in fact 2t on 1 minus t squared, and you basically just uh, use Pythagoras and uh, obviously you end up getting that a squared is equal to 1 plus t squared or squared, so A, that hypotenuse of that triangle over here, OK, turns out to be just 1 plus T squared. So that allows you to get the sine result here and the cosine result over here. OK, oops, coming off the bottom of the board, OK. OK, so this, if you like, is the family of T results here, OK. And uh, you can see sine theta is equal to 2T on 1 plus T squared. Uh, cos theta 1 minus t squared on 1 plus t squared and tan theta is just as you said before, well as I said before, 2t on 1 minus t squared. And this is usually, these results are used a lot in trig equations and in calculus as well. Okay, now let's go on to the summary. Okay, so the summary is, basically this is how I normally summarize it. Uh, let's have a look at the summary. Okay, here. Okay, the summary will be, okay, Sine A, if you have a quick look, if that's a plus and a minus, okay, this is a plus and minus, so they're the right way up. So sine has the signs, uh, sine uh, A plus B, you'll see the sine will be plus in the actual expansion. Now, if you look at cos plus and minus, you see here it's actually minus plus. So the cosine one is flipped or switched, if you like. And if you look at the tan, it's actually the right way up here, here right way up, and it's flipped over there. Okay, flipped there. So, a bit of something for everyone in the tan result. But sine A plus B, plus or minus B, you can see here is sine A cos B plus minus. Okay, the same, same way around. Sine B cos A, and the cosine result, cos A plus or minus B, you can see here, the signs are flipped. So it's going to be cos A cos B minus plus sine A sine B, and Finally, the last one, tan A plus or minus B is equal to tan A plus or minus, the right way up, okay, here. And on the bottom, 1 minus plus tan A tan B, okay. All right, well, thank you for watching. This is a bit of a whirlwind tour uh, of the addition theorems for trigonometry. Bye for now.